Tai imagine having 82,000 acres of land? Many might cash in and develop it, but one well-known family took another approach, kept the open space open, but still got paid millions. Jane Wells has more from San Simeon, California. It's the crown jewel towering over California's central coast. Hearst Castle, built by newspaper mogul William Randolph Hearst, is now a state park undergoing some renovation. But this spectacular structure is made even more dramatic because it's surrounded by nothing but open space. How do you feel when you're out here? Home. Steve Hurst that is the great grandson of William Randolph, who runs the 82,000 acre privately owned Hurst Ranch surrounding the castle, 128 square miles appraised at nearly a quarter billion dollars. This property is a, is a showpiece. It's kind of the hood ornament on our Mercedes, so to speak. That's quite a hood um, ornament. Yes, it is. Originally, there were plans to put homes and golf courses here. That was unpopular. So 10 years ago, Hearst managed to sell his development rights to the California Rangeland Trust, which paid him $95 million in public and private funds, plus tax breaks, to give up any plans to develop the land. When you do a conservation easement, it's a fraction of the cost of what it would cost the government to protect it outright. But you have a landowner that manages the land, it stays on the tax rolls, and you have a private steward. It's really a win-win. The Hearst Ranch is just the most extreme example of rangeland trust, which exist in eight states. They allow ranchers to pull some money out of the property in exchange for never developing it. Daniel Sinton is a fifth generation cattle rancher who's on the Rangeland Trust board, but the trust is running low on funds and there's a waiting list of 100 families willing to sell their development rights to preserve the ranch land. It allows us to pull some money out of the ranch when, you know, it's not, right now it's not a great time to be a rancher. It's financially difficult to do that and I think a lot of people are struggling with that. Even the Hearst Ranch isn't profitable, though it is now the nation's leading producer of grass-fed beef. Most of it sold at Whole Foods. But $95 million paid 10 years ago has kept it looking like it always has and always will. The fact that we look down at old California instead of a developed California really is quite remarkable. What did I give away? Um, I gave away development rights that were, while valuable, I think it's more valuable the way it is. So we got to kind of sell it and keep it. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, San Simeon, California.